Yo, we just got treated. We got some Pokemon startup evolutions out here right now. Have y'all seen Brian? Brian is so darn cute. Talking about he wants to dance all over everything. It's bouncing on his belly. Yo, Seal, Dugong, move over. Brian and Poppy Oda took over. You you are from here hereby irrelevant. Go away. Get in the lowland form or something, cause ain't nobody gonna give a darn about you. Have y'all seen my man um Terracat? Horror cat is a freaking lynx. Y'all don't understand. I love cats. My favorite feline animal is a lynx. If I could domesticate a lynx, I would. Tory cat is a lynx. I just, my, Papio, I'm sorry. I do love Brian. It's cute. But Tory cat, second evolution to make me switch my secondary starter. Tor, uh, with Linton, Tory cat, y'all doing the thing. Look at it. It's as a flame set. Oh my God. Y'all see. Dart Tricks? First of all, just say that name to yourself. Dart Tricks. Sounds like something of a main character from Jetix back in 1997. Yo! And the. the, the, the oh my god. It, it throws quills. Look at it. It's so darn cute. It cares about the way it looks. And it cares. Yeah, like I said, it cares about the way it looks. This Pokemon is literally clean. Y'all see that little quill from its eyelash that is hanging over? Dark Tricks is the best. I already knew Wild was gonna be the best starter. This just confirmed it. Yo, let's get into these Pokemon. Yo, what's up, guys? PK Sparks here. Welcome to this Pokemon Sun and Moon news video. We just got a whole bunch of starter evolutions, and that's pretty much it, to be honest. We didn't get much else. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? We didn't get much else. Ash Greninja has been confirmed for playability here in Pokemon Sun and Moon. We'll get into all those, all the new Pokemon that were released today, and then I'll be talking about the other features, such as the uh, Festival Plot. And Poke Pelago and all of that. Oh, 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 and one more thing. Mega Evolution has returned. I'm excited. Today's a good day. Like the news we got wasn't like the greatest, but it's it featured things that I it made things better. It made things better. Let me know that Ryle is the best starter. I don't care what you say, don't at me. Uh, it lets me know that Ash Greninja is coming through and we got a new ability for him as well, but I'll get into that in the meantime. And Mega Evolution is returning using the Z-Ring. I'm happy. Let's start, let's start off right now, my favorite one, Dark Tricks, the evolution of Rowlet, the Blade Quill Pokemon. Now, I read over his Pokedex on PokemonSunMoon.com, read over the Pokedex entry, and it's pretty slick. To go back, to give you some summation of it, this Pokemon cares about how it looks. Unfortunately, if the Pokemon gets dirty, he'll actually quit battle, because he's not trying to get dirty anymore. He will just like, nope, I'm not cool with this, I got mud on me or whatever. Good thing he's invulnerable to mud slap and he can just fly right over it. But if but if gravity ever comes through or smackdown happens and then smack down into mud slap, it's a one hit KO or I guess a two hit KO because you gotta get smacked down. Okay, gravity to um to mud slap, one hit KO because this Pokemon is gonna quit. But I, I freaking love the personality of it. Um and the fact that it's so slick with its quills. I'm telling y'all, this thing is Robin Hood. I am naming it Robin Hood. I know it's like a pretty straightforward generic name, but it has quills that it conceals within his blade feathers and it will throw them with astounding precision and send them flying to attack their, his enemies. And he can even bend them to get um, curves on his feathers. So this man, this man is a ninja. He's a ninja, uh, uh, a ninja archer. There you go, a ninja archer. With, uh, with so he, he, I guess he's more so like a, um, like has shurikens instead of um, arrows and all that. I don't know, it's freaking lit. Like, no, no, no pun intended. I freaking love dart tricks in the name. Dart oh, he's throwing darts. Right, it's right there in his name. He's throwing darts. Duh. Duh. I, okay, I had a PK moment, my bad. But still, Dart Trick's doing the darn thing. And this is the favorite part. Um, like I said, um, this Pokemon feels so bothered by its dirty or ruffled feathers that it can't focus on battle. When it loses its focus, it sometimes even retires from the battle on the spot. It's up to each trainer to help Dartrix overcome this troublesome stage. If the, now hear me out, this is why I'm really excited for the final stage. If this Pokemon is with a trainer who helps it through, its strength will grow hugely. Oh my god, this actually might be like a real aggressive, fast, grass type Pokemon, which we don't really have much of. I mean, we do have some things, I know that, what was it, Venusaur or Chlorophyll can really go out there, Rock Polish, Torterra and all that, and Sceptile is an actually fast Pokemon. But Sceptile, I'm not a big fan of. Dark Tricks and Rowlet so far, I'm a huge fan of. So these two, I'm really excited for. I can't wait to see what they're going to be um, going to be about. I want to see that final evolution. The final evolution. I need it. I need it in my life right now. 
All right, like I said, Linton, I didn't like you at first. I really thought you were just like a fire kitten, just lame, you were going to do anything. But you evolved into a Lynx, or something that looks like a Lynx. And Lynx is my favorite Pokemon, therefore you instantly have my heart. I'm sorry, Brian, again, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. The, uh, was it Linton? I'm sorry, Toracat, excuse me. Toracat um, uses his emotions to really start throwing some fire attacks. And the little bell thing that's around his neck is actually a flame sack, an organ that produces flames. So an organ of his body is actually outside of it and when it starts using its fire type attack the bell this flame sack will ring high and sharp like a bell so it's a bell it's a cat it's a pretty thick kitten but I mean it's a kitten it's, it's, I love it it's a, it's a lynx it's not a kitten it's a lynx lynx are freaking awesome two of uh, the height is two as a matter of fact let me look up the average height of a lynx real quick lynx average height not weight height anybody got to uh, scoot stupid Google an average Lynx height is actually 2.3 feet. And guess how tall um, Litten is? 2.4. It is 2 foot 4 inches. It is a Lynx. I'm happy. I. <sighs> okay. Fanboy aside though. Toracat's mane serves as an excellent sort of sensory organ, and it can sense what's going on around it even in the dark. So, its mane are basically its whiskers because every cat is good in the dark no matter what. So, when you have, was it, its mane, instead of having whiskers, because it does have like little feathers on it, but I think it's more so considered his mane. And now I can't wait to see what kind of big cat the things are evolving to. We already have Pyvor, who's a lion. We could get a second lion, but maybe we'll get more so a tiger. I don't think we have a tiger outside of like. No, Arkan has a dog. Do we have a tiger Pokemon? I don't. I, I can't. I can't think of a tiger Pokemon. If I if there is one, let me know in the comment section below. But judging by Litten's, I'm um, excuse me. Judging by Toracat's stripes on his ankles and the fact that we already have a lion and a dog with Pyroar and Arcanine respectively. I can see this being a tiger, and I'd be fine with that. I hope it's like a big tiger. And yo, speaking of big tigers, I think we have a uh, revelation or an announcement of its exclusive move. The Cat Punch that this Pokemon can dish out with its strong forelegs is extremely powerful. It can bend iron bars and knock out large men with a single blow. And to be honest, this goes back to support the leaks that were released a while back where it says that um, Litten is going to be evolving to a big giant tiger wrestler. If it has a cat punch and it can knock out strong men and bend iron bars, it, it just lends itself to that. So maybe that little leak was true. As a matter of fact, I gotta go back at it and see if they were even correct about um, dark tricks or whatnot. Cause I know they said the last one was gonna be evolved to an archer. That's the case. That's pretty. Wow. I, I don't normally report on leaks, but maybe I should if they're gonna be that accurate. But the fact that it has the cat punch, it doesn't even have a little name for it. It's just the cat punch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But Tori Cat's love for um, battle will attack so but Toracat has a lo great love for battle, excuse me, and will attack so relentlessly that his opponent loses the will to fight, and yet it sometimes behaves like a spoiled child in front of trainers and Pokemon with whom it has built a relationship of trust. So, at the end of the day, it's still a cat, but when it's in battle, like, it's going to get feral, so this evolution has to be violent, and I'm going to be really looking forward to it, but Toracat, you are, you, you have done it, you have done it. Oh, Misty, you like Toracat? You like Toracat, Misty? Oh, Misty like Toracat. <laughs> Now this last Pokemon, Brian, I used to think Poplio, I still think Poplio is cute. I don't actually hate this one, like I hated Litten at first, but Brian, it's, while it's cute and I can see people really going towards it, I can see this being the less, the less picked Pokemon, because Violet has its huge amount of friends. I mean, have you guys seen the Heated Mode's Rovo shirt? Like, of course, everyone's going to be loving that. So, <laughs> everyone's grabbing that, and then everyone loves a good fire cat and fire types. So, Litten has already got there, but Poplio always had that... Well, never, never had the attention of the community and while this one is cute and I love his eyes I love the design of it I love the way it looks it just doesn't scream pick me it just doesn't I'll use you eventually I feel like you'll be like a solid low tier UU you or high tier are you pick somewhere around Sam Samurai who was also a decent Pokemon but just doesn't yell out at you pick me um, but still, Brian is still a decent Pokemon, water type Pokemon, ability a torrent as well, and its category is a pop star Pokemon. So, I'm respecting a lot of circus tricks. As a matter of fact, speaking of circus tricks, its ability, its Pokedex entry actually says, Brian creates balloon after balloon, 
In battle, it first sends its opponent into disarray with its dancing, and then slaps its balloons into its target, causing the balloons to explode and deal damage. So it could also be a rev announcement of the unique move exclusive to Brian, you know, b Balloon Barrage. Or something like that. I don't know. Cause isn't Barrage already a move learned by like Chansey and Executor? But I don't think I've ever even seen them learn, use that anymore. And I have. I mean, like from base level, has that move been phased out? I don't know. But Balloon Barrage could be a thing. That I'm calling it now. If it happens like that, know that you heard it here first. Balloon Barrage. All right. But anyway, the beginning of Brian's Pokédex entry intrigues me. It kind of reminds me of Oricorio. Um, Brian learns its dances by imitating the other members of his colony. It sometimes even learns dances from humans. This Pokémon is a hard worker and pours itself into its efforts until it has memorized each dance. Now, the phrase right there I'm really curious about is each dance. You gotta remember that Oricorio has that ability where it can copy any dancing moves that your opponent may use. And I went over this before in the video when I talked about Oricorio. So if you guys want to check out all my Pokemon Sun and Moon news videos, check the link in the description below for the playlist. But all the dance moves that are in the game are Swords Dance, Petal Dance, Rain Dance, Feather Dance, Teeter Dance, Dragon Dance, Luna Dance, Quiver Dance, and Fiery Dance. Now what I want to assume is that the hidden ability of Brian will be that dance move that it, that um, Oricorio uses. I forget what it's called, to be honest, I forget what it's called. I didn't look it up, I'm not too stressed about it. <laughs> but yeah, the, whatever the move that where it pretty much copies a dance move that your opponent uses, I want to say that will be the hidden ability of Brian because the Pokédex entry just lends itself to really use that. And all those dance moves would actually be really useful, especially uh, either Swords Dance or Quiver Dance, depending on if it's a physical or special attacker. I want to say there will probably be a physical attacker, but then again, uh, cause just because Balloon Barrage just sounds physical. It doesn't really sound anything like, oh, I mean, yeah, explode, but I don't know. I don't know, man. It's too many vibes, but just give me the answers, Pokemon Company. Give me the answers. But anyway, the last part of Pokedex entry for Brian says, Brian always acts cheery and positive. Even when it's feeling sad, this Pokemon doesn't allow its sorrow to show. It's said that Brian will only reveal a sad expression to a Pokemon or trainer to whom it has opened its heart completely. I feel like we all know a person like that in our life who refuses to show sadness. They're just like, nope. I'm not sad and, and the inside they're like dying and crying and it's like just show your darn emotions freaking biscuits I think we all know one person I know I know darn well I know a few people like that I had to break them out of their skin and be like yo stop that yeah that's right I slapped them well actually I just clapped my hand but still I, I, I slapped them anyway Brian seems like a decent Pokemon still, still doesn't scream choose me choose me but I still like the Pokemon I look forward to seeing other people using it but I probably won't be picking them up myself so, the anime exclusive Pokemon version of Greninja, Ash Greninja, is actually coming to Pokemon Sun and Moon as Ash Greninja. That's the name, it's Ash Greninja. It looks just like him, has the hat, the head change and all that, the hair on the side, it's Ash Greninja. And apparently, um, this uh, this form comes about from a bond, from a phenomenon known as Bond Phenomenon. They really couldn't come up with a better name, but it's known as the Bond Phenomenon. And this can be brought on by the bonds between people and Pokemon. It seems that it has happened, it, it seems that it has only known to have occurred once several hundred years ago. Why is Ash always this dude that has like 10,000 lures in the world? This man, the world shall turn to Ash whenever the birds start attacking the world. This man has the power of aura and he can use that to bond with Lucario. And now he has an ancient ability that can cause a bond between... Like, I don't understand how Ash hasn't won an, uh, uh, Ash has not won a Pokemon League yet with all this stuff working for him. This dude is the stuff of legend. Literally the stuff of legend. And yet he can't win a Pokemon League? Great. I'll give you the fourth Pokemon League because the dude had a Dark Ride and a Latios. Like, what the heck? But he's the only dude in the entire league to even get past the Dark Ride. Took his entire team, but get past the Dark Ride. And I, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, Ask Ninja is here, and I like it. It gets a new ability, or rather, Ask Ninja's ability is Battle Bond. That's the new ability. So, first thing I want to know is Protean out the window. Is Protean busted? The Pokemon company said, hey, I think that Protean Greninja is a bad idea. But then again, what's going to stop them from 
Uh, like they said, you can bring your Pokemon up from Sun and Moon. Are they going to change the ability of Greninja? Say, nope, this ability no longer exists. Just stop um, Protean Greninja from even being a thing? No, they can't do that. So, it's like, what's going to happen? Is it, is it a second ability? Is it an exclusive ability? Like, is this only from the um from this Greninja? Like, can you not breed this Battle Bond da um, down? If that's the case, how do you get a perfect IV ba Battle Bond Ash Greninja? How do we even do this? But one thing I want to know is that apparently Ash Greninja's leg strength has been enhanced compared to an ordinary Greninja, making it difficult to see because of the speed at which it can move. So, its base stats already put it into Uber. Like, it was already like high tier OU, and then when Protein came out, it was already high, high tier OU, like darn near Uber. And then when Pokemon Sun and Moon came out and they got gunk shot, it just pushed it over, and then Greninja became broken. So, all of that. So, now, they're taking the fact, like, Greninja is like the main reason why Alakazam stopped being OU. Because it always outsped them. Even with Shadow, even without Shadow Speed, like, Protean, Dark Pulse, they even need Protean, just Dark Pulse body Alakazam, and it outsped it by like, what, two points? Alakazam is like base 120 to Greninja's base 122. The speed actually increases. So how fast is this thing going to be? Is it going to be putting, pro, uh, is it going to be putting Excel Gore to shame? I'm assuming it will, but just because it becomes faster, I hopefully it also becomes stronger. Like it's like a pseudo mega evolution. I still wish Ash actually had a mega evolution, but we'll get into that in another time. But um, what is it? Ash Greninja. Um, hopefully it gets stronger, but without Protean, will it actually be as efficient as the standard Greninja with Protean? Like that, that's what I want to know because it's not going to be able to become an ice type um, from ice beam and get staff from that. It's not going to be able to become a ghost type with shadow sneak and get staff from that, or, evo or avoid an incoming fake out from a Mega Kangaskhan or return from Mega Kangaskhan or power up pump from Mega Kangaskhan. Mind you, it'll still get bodied by like crunch and whatnot. You don't want to get hit by that, but not many Kangaskhans run crunch. Like unless you like specifically play for that for team build, not many carry crunch. There's more like earthquake and stuff like that. But anyways, in any case, in any case. In any case, um, yeah, like I don't know how this is going to be personally without Protean. I can't see it being that way. Maybe like Battle Bond Greninja will be regular of an OU, and then Protean Greninja will still be Uber because Protean Greninja still hits hard. And then if you can't breed it down, does that mean that you won't be able to get some egg moves? Do we not be able to teach it Shadow Steep? Do we not be able to teach it Toxic Spikes? And uh, I think Spikes as well. I think Toxic Spikes as well. Um, uh, but yeah, will you not be able to do that? That's the questions we need to know. Personally, I want to say that this one's going to be fun, but it's going to be OU at best. If we decide, if or not we, but if Smogon decides to run it like that, it'll probably be like high OU, and then Protean will still be Ubers. But at the same time, we got to see what this new Pokemon do to the meta as well. It could make Protean Greninja freaking busted. But going back to um, going back to the Pokedex entry of Greninja, Greninja that can become Ash Greninja have an ability that no Pokemon has ever had before: Battle Bond. The Battle Bond ability triggers this Pokemon's form change to Ash Greninja after it causes an opponent's Pokemon to faint. When the battle ends, the Pokemon returns to its original Greninja form. This form is only for battles when it needs to break the limit. So, we have the cloud of Pokemon, pretty much. <laughs> well, I don't know what it says in Japanese, whatever. In any case, um, so... You have to defeat a Pokemon first in order to get battle. I'm sorry, yeah, in order to get battle bond Ash Greninja, you have to defeat a Pokemon. Greninja is definitely equipped to do that, but you have to do that. Without Protean, you might not hit as hard. I'm assuming you can still carry Life Orb because P Battle Bond is an ability. You could probably also carry like a Z Stone and just hit like a with like the Hydro Vortex or whatever you may want to do, you know, and be able to get a KO that way and then go to Ash Greninja, which you know it still carries the Shuriken on his back, by the way. So hopefully, um, there's like a new ability that Ash Greninja can learn, or maybe Water Shuriken will change when it evolves. Like if you have Water Shuriken and you turn into Ash Greninja, it'll come into like Water Water. What's another ninja? I'm sorry, I'm not like a big Naruto nerd. So I'm sorry, Naruto nerd, Na Naruto. I think it's called Naruto. In any case, um, I, I say in any case a lot, but whatever. Um, I, I don't know. This is gonna be decent. I don't know how it's going to um do a, up against Protean Greninja. I want to say it won't be as much unless the stat increases from Battle Bond Ash Greninja is immense enough to where Dark Pulse will still body, Hydro Pump will still body, and even Ice Beam will still do massive damage even without the Protean boost. Like, it'll, like the stats will increase so much that you might as well say you got the stat boost from Ice Beam. If that's the case, then I think this is going to be a really good Pokemon. But for now, I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's still Greninja. Without that, it's the base Pokemon. It's still Greninja. It's going to hurt. And with this speed increasing, well, 
Smog is gonna have a fun time throwing that thing in the Ubers now, ain't it? <laughs> The last thing I want to speak on is the fact that there was a demo coming out for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because on October 18th, I will be live streaming as soon as possible on my YouTube channel showing our Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. I'll show you my experience and showing you guys what Ashwa Ninja can really do because Ashwa Ninja is the Pokemon you will travel through Alola with in that demo. So we, can just, we get to learn about Ashwa Ninja. We get to see what he's all about. Look at his stats. We get to to see what the world will be about the music and whatnot which by the way if you guys did not hear the music for the trailer y'all need to go listen to it because it's actually pretty decent it's kind of yay anyway um, it, it was decent i liked it so the demo will be happening on the channel october 18th as soon as possible like as soon as midnight hits or whenever the demo is released i'm going to be touching on that so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on my journey through a low lot when it goes live on the channel let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all the Pokemon, the starter evolutions, and Ash Ninja. I will talk to you guys later on today because we're going to be talking about the other features that were announced for Pokemon Sun and Moon. The Festival Plaza, the Pokepelago, and Mega Evolution Returning, which I'm just going to touch on really quick because it doesn't really say much beyond Mega Evolution Returning. But I got some things I want to say about it. So, that's going to be included in the next video. Demolish the like button for me if you guys enjoy and are hyped for Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you are turned up for some Pokemon my Sun and Moon demo action, and if you are ready to have po uh, Ash Ninja in your team party, I'm ready. Hope you guys are ready too. Thank you all so much. For oh, wait, one more thing. Forgot to mention. Um, tomorrow my review of Paper Mario Color Splash will be going live on the channel at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's another reason for y'all to hit that subscribe button and turn on those mobile notifications so you don't miss out on any of the content I have, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Twitch. So as I was saying, make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, but most importantly, stay hot guys. I'll see y'all next time.